Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Citizen Sleeper. It's been a few days since I've recorded, so I'm tr gonna try and remember what exactly uh, I was doing here. I remember being pretty well off. Um, I have one upgrade point, and I think I was saving that for, like, some of these other things. Uh, so... What do we actually need to do? Let's take a look at our drives. Um, meet Fing in the Greenway. Uh, so I gotta help Fing, Kitty Tunes, get to know Enfys. You get some of those for Enfys. Help set up the distillery. I still need to do a little bit of that, right? That was here at the Overlook. Ah, but it's so slow. Yeah, that was the problem, wasn't it? It's risky, but I could... I plus two on Engineer. I could use these on it. Yeah, that might not be the worst thing to do. We'll, we'll go uh, see what we're doing over here first, though. I remember there not being a ton else that I really need to do here. Let's get rid of that. I can still feed the stray some more. I'm not sure what else we'll actually get from that. Nothing else to do with caster, right? Yeah, no, I just I finished off both of your things. Alright, let's just, uh... Oops, wrong place. I always go to that place thinking it's the spot, and it is not. Alright, greenway. Boom. Uh, so going green. Explore the greenway. Yeah, but unlike any other place in the eye, so... Endure. I do have this. 100% positive. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Ooh, three just like that. Okay, so if I just throw in the six, we're good. Let's just go ahead and throw in the six then. Going green. Cool. So, mushroom groves, the aviary, and the farm stacks. I don't see Fing immediately, but uh, Fing's got to be somewhere around here, right? What is this for? Oh wait, this is where Fing is showing up, that's right. Oh, so I didn't even have to do that, I just had to wait for Fing. Oh well, well this is new stuff. I had to do something with my time. Uh, thief. If you get caught stealing, there's no way you'll be able to work in the stacks, as simple as that. Loads of food here, why should these farmers keep it to themselves? You can do it quick, they might even be... Far stacks from the old have survived, and the farmers that work them are always looking for new workers. They pay by yield. Okay, so that's probably where I get the mushrooms, right? Or, or no, I probably get them from here, from the mushroom groves. Forge for fungus. While the mushroom groves are dangerously inconsistent, spores provide a chance to gather or study these species in an untouched form. Okay, well, I don't think I want to do that. What about the aviary? Clear overgrowth. Cut away the choking vine, stop the rot, and this place could be turned back into a garden. Once a corporate garden for impressing guests with gene-tweaked birds, now this chamber is a full is a mess of overgrowth. You can change that. I would have liked to have a garden. Unfortunately, I never saw much reason to uh, investigate that stuff, really. So, and yeah, I can't do that. Um, tomorrow we'll have to invest in getting some more scrap. But for now, I think we're fine. I think I'll go over here and try to do more of this. I got some fours. Why not? Uh, it's just, just loss of energy. It's fine. Um, positive outcome. Yeah. Okay. And now we can leave. Should I grab some energy? No, nah, we don't even really need it. So, in fact, why don't we just put this one to work here? It's a three, so... Come on, big money! Ow. Oh well. I tried, Tala. I sh you can't say I didn't try, alright? Can't say I didn't try. L let's give the stray some more food, see if anything happens. Stray fed. So do I have to feed them a certain amount of days? To keep them, like, happy, possibly. Might be the case. Alright, let's end our cycle there. <clears throat> Don't know how much more of the game we have left, but I feel like I'm in a very comfortable per- Oh my god! I feel like I'm in a very comfortable position right now. Um, we still gotta wait a little bit longer on, uh... What's their face? Um... I have the money. I think I'm just gonna buy mushrooms from Enfys to heal. 
course, I don't really have much else to do with this one here. Let's let's go to Overlook. Let's see. I'll, I'll throw the one in here. Let's see what happens. If I get a negative, I'll just lose energy, which doesn't matter because I'm already at no energy. Cool. Got a neutral. Um, I could throw a five in here to get some guaranteed progress there. Sure. Boom. All right. Yeah, that takes a really, really long time to repair, but uh, not the end of the world. So let's go back over to Founder's Ferry here. I do need to go to the end here and grab some scrap so I can heal up. Boom. This is just so much better than even the stabilizer because the stabilizer you want to save until you're pretty low so you can heal all the way back up. But with the scrap, I can just always keep all of my dice, basically. This was... It, it, it didn't seem like it was useful at the beginning, but now it's incredibly useful because I can always stay at five dice. So I really, really like it. Uh, Alright, so... Let's do the mushroom groves, I guess. Let's see if I can get some spores. Yeah. Boom. Two grove spores. So... Let's see here. Grow mushrooms. Okay, so I actually have to clear the aviary for that, though. That's the problem. Which means I would have to clear... Um... This. Which... I wonder how much progress I make. It might be better... Oh, but plus one is still far away. I was gonna say it might be better just to get plus one into it. So I could do it there, but... Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. I'm going to abandon this line of thinking for you right now, just so I can focus on the thing with Tala. Sorry, Imphis. I'll get you your mushrooms maybe at some point, but right now I think I should focus on Tala to uh, at least make sure that I can, you know, finish some of the things. Because those are used once I actually have the garden, but the garden is still very far away. And I can't forage for mushrooms without getting more points in, uh, into it, so... Uh, overlook. Um, bit of a waste of a six, but uh... Like I said, I just want to finish this off so I can say that's another thing we have crossed off our list there. Because we are halfway done with our days here. That is, uh, important to note. Oh, I didn't need to get scrap. Oh well, it's fine. Now we have a lot. <clears throat> I do have the stabilizer still too, but I'm waiting to see if I, like, take a shit ton of damage one day. And then I can use the stabilizer then. Because right now the scrap's fine. Oh my god, these godlike rolls. They're so nice. Okay, um... So, let's hit up Overlook. I think I'm just gonna use the fours. I mean the threes, sorry. Yeah, there we go. And I even got a random scrap. Oh, that might be where I got that extra scrap from, from doing this. Yeah, that is right. I forgot I had that passive. Boom. Done. What's up, Tala? Tala stands back from the newly finished still and tub, hands on hips. Look at this, she grins. The Overlook Distillery in all its glory. She squeezes you around the shoulders. Thank you. Outsourcing ingredients. All smiles. I think I've got most of it covered between the food factories in the low end and the farm stacks in the greenway. I thought this was going to go the route of, uh, can you grow me mushrooms? <clears throat> However, she pauses, there's an issue. Uh-oh. What's the problem? Well, Jerole the drink, as you probably get... Of course. <laughs> it's named after Jerome Mushroom. That's what gives it that golden color and earthy taste. The alcohol is infused with mushrooms along with a mix of spices. That means you need Jerome caps to make Jerome, but no one wants to supply us. The distilleries on the Greenway are taking all the stock from the farms out there, so it's hard to get a single cap across Founders Gap. If I have an idea, she smiles, we can grow our Jerome caps here. Gestures at the increasingly equipment-filled back room. I can bring you mushrooms. That gives you a pitying look. Where's your vision? Any outside supplier means they take a cut. Okay, maybe not you, but someone. Somewhere takes a cut. Tala puts a hand on the still. We make a still, we set all the- we made a still, we set all this up. How hard can growing mushrooms be? They don't need light, they barely need soil. We can do this. She pauses, or at least we could if we had something to grow them from. Like spores? Like I have in my inventory right now? 
Exactly. Suddenly you feel like you've walked into a trap, and you are the perfect person to get me those spores. She nods rapidly. Think about it. You built the still. You're great with plants. You know the eye like the back of your hand. Need I go on? Half of that isn't even true. Don't be so mod as she pats your shoulder. <laughs> Look, I can't leave the bar and the other people picking up shifts. She grimaces. I'm saying this has to be you. Fine. Wonderful. You'll love it over on the greenway, I think. All that fresh air, open space. Sees your expression. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Turns back to look at the still and the fledgling distillery forming around it. Well, he has something, though, isn't it? And want to or not, you really have to agree. Okay. Well, I have your stuff already, I think. Um. Okay, you need three. Well, that that is a problem, because I don't have three. I only have two, but, uh... I'll get you a third one. I do have these, uh, extra fives to work with, after all. Uh, oh yeah, did I feed my kitty yesterday? Well, I'm gonna make sure I feed kitty today. Um, here you go. Here you go, kitty. I don't remember if I fed you yesterday. Stray fed. Cool. Wanna see if I can get more conversations. Well, conversations is a strong word. Interactions with kitty. Cause I like kitty. Alright, so farm stacks, mushroom groves. So I need to go over here, do this again. I can at least get one out of this, even if I get a neutral, probably. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now what do I want to do with the rest of this? I could farm more scrap, but I don't really need it. I could start building this. Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's just start building this. Boom. See, look. Look at that. We're halfway done already. Uh, I do need to buy some more food from Enfys, but I'm currently loaded on money. So that will not be a problem. Also, since I'm taking so long to get Enfys, uh, his mushrooms, I, I feel like, yeah, you, you deserve my business. Alright. So, overlook. Here you are, Tala. Look at us, completing objectives. Boom. And... Cool. First batch. Tala has locked herself away in the back room while she focuses on distilling. She won't let anyone in or out. Ooh, six days. This is gonna be cutting it close to when you show up. Alright, well I have a lot of things going on that just require waiting. So... What else should I even do with my time tomorrow? I mean, I could help out Ethan, but I don't really care to. Ethan's kind of a dick. Don't need to fabricate another one of those. I think I'll just focus on uh, the farm over there. There's nothing else really over here that I want to check out besides maybe the free spoke. Or going all the way down here and doing uh, this, but I don't know. I don't know how useful that would even be at this point. That seems like an early game thing, but I'm getting so many, uh, so many dice. We're going to be able to knock things out pretty quickly here, I think, because uh, my stats are high now and everything, so it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, more high dice, yeah. All right, so, nope, the, the damn free spoke always tricks me. All right, over here, cross to the greenway. And you, so were you risky or you're safe? Okay, well, I'll, I'll, use, my, I'll use my Garbo dice on you then. Sure, what's the worst you could do? Hey, look at that. Boom. What's the worst that could happen? Boom. And sure, give me a uh, four. Beautiful. Sunlight Refuge. Surprised that wasn't a drive, actually. Okay, so now if we have spores, um, I can germinate them here and grow my own stuff. See, I told you I could have done it for you, Tala. You didn't believe me. Two, and at least one, there we go, four of them, now I can go over here and do this, 
cool. <clears throat> Look at us. Doing our, uh, playing our farming simulator here. That's what this game is. It's not actually an RPG, it's just a farming sim. We're Stardew Valleying it now. Ooh, oops, what did that say? Sorry, I'm going a little fast. The spores need time to germinate and spread in the aviary. The indirect sun of a few cycles should help them along. Okay, and then I can deliver them to, uh, Elphus. Or Imphus, sorry. Elphus is an area in a game, I think, that is in the back of my mind. But I don't remember where it is. Oh, Spirit Crucible Elphus. Yes. <laughs> From Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That would be it. That would be it. Um, did I feed you today? Sorry. <laughs> okay, stray fed. Cool. Uh, in cycle. I don't think that comes up if you feed them multiple times in a day. Alright. What's happening? Oh, I for- okay, yeah, I, I forgot to eat, so my, my stuff went down a little bit. So I don't actually have a fifth dice. That- that's my bad. I don't think it's gonna be the biggest deal in the world, but uh... Yeah, that is my bad. I forgot I was starving. So, um, all right, I gotta wait on you. Okay, maybe we do go do the engineer thing. Maybe we do go do the engineer thing. There's not much else I super care about. That's just jobs. This is just farming the mushrooms. That's already grown. Oh, Fing is back now. Yeah, we can do that. When you're into the service dock, Fing is already set up. Oh, hey, you're back to your old stuff. Crouched among stacks of equipment, he is leaning over a terminal bathed in a blue glow. He looks totally at home. Sleeper, what do you think? Turns out not everyone in Havenage is set up against me. A couple of my old system pals managed to ship me some of my old gear. Gestures at a, p a pile of blinking hardware. The mess is here! Thing laughs. Don't question the process, Sleeper. Any updates? Thing beckons you over. He has a set of scans of the wastes on his terminal with heat maps of activity overlaid. A chunk of the derelict rim is blotchy with bright red and orange marks. Does this look like a wasteland to you? Fink shakes his head. There's hundreds of Conway machines out there, all lined up in concealed hangars, and a whole underground facility to support them. Harden has got a crew out there putting them together. They must have shipped them in piece by piece, through the shipyard, ready for assembly out here. Why? You're planning something. No one needs hundreds of heavy-duty reclamation drums to run this kind of operation. Maybe hard to mask this whole thing as an effort to clean up the wastes, but there's no way this is about pulling scrap off the eye. Bing looks worried. And why is Conway in the mix? I bet no one in Havenage knows a corporation is setting up on the station. They aren't stupid either. These scans are the best info I can get. The waste is cut off from the ice cloud of networks and the greenway is a total dark zone. No data can come in or out. We can't hack them? We can't from here, he turns and winks. That's why I'm gonna pay them a visit. Now, you forget, Havenage come in and out of there all cycle. Havenage come in and out of there all cycle. Okay, oh wait, no, okay, okay, I see what you're saying now. Havenage comes, yeah, it would make more sense to me if it said comes in and out. They come in and out of there all cycle. I should be able to get in. As long as no one I know sees me, he grimaces this play playfully. Although I guess Havenage is plural in this context, so... I need you on the outside to help disable security systems and cut me a pathway through. There's no cloud access, but if I can get inside, I can open up nodes in their network and we can work in tandem. It's a massive facility buried deep down there, miles of corridor and ventways wrapped around cargo bays and hangars. So it'll take more than a few cycles to work through it, but as long as you can keep them off my back, I know I can rip what we need out of there. Pulls a handful of ripper worms from his pocket and hands them to you. These are the last of my little helpers I managed to salvage, so make them count. I modified them slightly. This time they'll feed their data threads back into the system that they are tunneling into, creating a nasty little feedback loop. We run it just like we did with the agents, hack the nodes they ping to locate the ports of the security system, then slot the worms in those systems and let them go to town. Points to a fuzzy silhouette of the buried facility on the terminal. Here's the entryway. This is where you can get access and slot the first worm. That'll fry their perimeter systems and get me past the first cordon. Nate from you is to keep your eyes on the facility after you kick things off. You see me pop up a security system, a server bank, you need to break in and slot a ripper to a disabled as soon as you can. If I don't, it gives you a hard look. You miss a system, you wait too long, they are going to find me. Simple as that. Claps you on the shoulder. I need you focused on this one, so I'm going to let you fire the starting gun. I won't go until you slot that first worm. 
I'll leave a tracker running on the terminal here, so come back here if you want to see my progress. He affectionately passed the top of the screen. Got it. Don't worry, you can run rings around the protocols, I've seen it. Bing gets up. It's all in place, you just need to make your own preparations and slot that worm. He stretches, just don't wait too long, I'm getting bored of all this sneaking around. Once I'm inside, I'll get the proof we need to end this whole thing. No matter what, he crouches to check the terminal. Can't take longer than six cycles on this thing, remember that. Stands up. Oh, and one last thing. He lowers his voice. If I get caught, you can't reach me, or we run out of time. That's one thing you need to do. Don't talk like that. Just listen, he hisses. You've never seen things so serious. You take whatever I've managed to pull at this point, all that data, and you slot that stuff straight into the relay I've set up here. Once to a pile of servers and terminals, hooked into the dock with cables as thick as your arm. I repurposed the dock's SOS broadcast system to beam out whatever you put into it. Anyone with a terminal, a slate, or a server in the eye will see it. That means Havenage, Yadigan, the hub, everyone. No matter what, Harden isn't snaking away this time, he grins. Got a bit more to do here, but the moment you slot the first worm, I'll make my move. Gives you a parting smile and turns back to the terminal. Nerves hit you as you make your way out of the service dock. Time to prepare yourself. I already think I'm, uh, pretty well prepared. So where exactly do I have to, uh, slot this in? Uh, I'm not totally sure. Is it somewhere in the eye? Uh, yep. Okay, Conway access. Yeah, it's just in the eye over here, which we specifically haven't been to that much. Greenway gate. Oh, wait, no, this is different. Okay, that's something for the Greenway. Yeah, I've never actually been on the eye over here. Slotting this first worm will allow Thing access into the facility. You'll need to be ready to give this all your attention. I think I'm ready. Okay, the worm tunnels in and starts looping through the node. The Conway facility opens up to you. Godspeed, Fing. As you slot the worm, a thread jumps up out of the facility. It unpools in front of you, releasing its data like ink and water. In the, the cloud in the data ghost of the eye. Sleeper, Fing's voice crackles through, moving in. Nodes, then ports, aware of interference, slot the worms. Timer starts now. Stay safe. Thread dissipates. You're on your own now. Okay. On sec F1. Uh, I can't match that. Thing must be struggling to get through. I can't match that. Not at the moment. So... Okay, we do have a time limit, but it's a pretty generous one. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can handle that. We can handle that. Okay, so let's go work on some other things. I am still starving, and I'm not going to make that same mistake again. So we need to go over here to uh, Memphis and get some more food. I am spending a lot of my money here, but it's fine. I'm not using this money for anything else at the moment. I've been holding on to it, but I have a lot. So we're good there. You're good. Yeah, you're, uh, we could go over there and do some stuff. They're, like, rumbling. Okay, that's the, that's the game. I thought, I thought it was storming outside, because I was pretty sure it was supposed to storm today. Um, Ward Fabricator, Timber, Mingi, Caster. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really a lot over there I'm super interested in looking into more, so why don't, why don't we do something with this? I have all of the, the dice that I need to probably fill this in, so we can just go ahead and finish this off. Plus, uh, every engineer thing has a chance to give me uh, some, uh, whatchamacallit, as well. Scrap, even though it's really not working out for me right now. There we go, random scrap item. And 12 cryo, yeah, we refilled our cryo a little bit too. Each shift, a crowd of would-be workers gather outside the shipyard, each of them clinging to a four-digit number printed on receipt paper. These are their assignment numbers, and you are either called for a shift or you aren't. As you arrive, the crowd is restless and chatter rumbles through the lines. For those who, like you, have graduated to the work teams, shifts are, shifts are guaranteed. Having just walked out of a meeting with a supervisor where you were praised for your efforts, you feel the glow of a job well done. Yet you can't help but feel empathy for those huddled as you pass, waiting for their number to come up. You keep your head down as you leave the shipyard, feeling a little guilty as you do. 
Oh yeah, Lim and Mina, I forgot. Hey sleeper, wait up! Lim's voice trumble, uh, tum trembles as he shouts above the rumble of the crowd, and you can turn to see him pushing through Mina crying in his arms. Lim! <clears throat> Good to see you, friend! Breathing hard after shouldering through the waiting workers. You made the work team. Good for you. He tries to catch his breath, stroking Mina's hair as he does. Shh, baby, give me a second here. He smiles weakly at you as he comforts her, and her cries start to fade. Out of the crowd, he sets Mina down by his side, shiny streaks down both of her cheeks. As he does, you see he's clutching an assignment number on a crumpled piece of paper. Waiting on a shift? Uh-huh. You know how it is. Puts his hand on her shoulder, and she clings to his side. Esther usually takes her sick. Stretches, I don't know what... A noise sounds from the entrance, a klaxon, filled by a list of numbers glowing brightly on the display screen. The crowd responds instantly, pushing and pulling as people try to wade to the entry checkpoint. Lem stops and turns back towards the ground, towards the crowd, then glances down at the crumpled paper. That's my number, shit, shit, er, me it. He starts patting the pockets on his gear and glancing around. Go. I'll watch her. I'm horrible with kids, but this is a special circumstance. He blinks a little, staring. Thank you. Thank you, I'll... Crouches next to Mina. You're gonna stay with our friend here, okay? We're gonna keep you safe, and... He stands back up. Here, take her bag. He shoves it in your hands. She's got food. She's got... Shit, I have to go. Backs away from the crowd. Mina, I'll be back real soon, okay? Be good. And Lim disappears into the rolling crowd. We are now trying to get to the shipyard before it locks down. This is basically my worst nightmare. Just being shouldered with a kid. I'm not good with kids. I don't know what to do with kids. I'd be like, alright, let's sit down and watch some Spongebob. Mina stands staring, suddenly small without Lim at her side. She fixes you with a dark-eyed stare you can't quite read. Hey, Mina. She holds the stare unmoving, the two parallel tear tracks still glint on her cheeks. Look in the bag. You unlatch the top of the bag and see a few metal containers fashioned from scrap components. A battered slate sits on top, blinking a low battery warning, and tucked beside it is a ragged rabbit, hand sewn. Like the rabbit? Pull the rabbit out of the bag, its long limbs waggling as you do. Mina goes to jump and grabs it, but holds herself back. She stands and rubs herself, eyes on the rabbit. What's their name? Mina turns away and looks at the entrance to the shipyard. This isn't going well. Give her the rabbit. Let's just give it to her. I told you I'm bad with kids. <laughs> Hold the rabbit out and Mina snatches it from your hand. She hugs it tightly without looking away from you. Bun bun, she says, staring you down, ferocious despite her size. Nice name. Move a little closer as you speak, closing the gap. She looks at you suspiciously, but her face softens a little. She waggles Bun Bun in front of you and then walk, walks him up your arm and onto your shoulder where he sits. She pokes your arm a couple of times. Are you really a robot? Sort of. Yeah, she thinks. Me too. Mina has more questions. Mina has more questions. Lots of questions. Questions about how you breathe or if you rust. But before long, you're talking about rabbits and what Esther lady who usually takes her smells like, and whether or not fairies live in the ice heating pipes. I'm not- I'm not really a kid person, but sometimes when I- when I see other kids, or people talk about their kids, and they're like, all quiet and sweet, I'm like, oh. <laughs> kids are- kids are something I appreciate when I don't have to raise them myself, because I feel like I would be a horrible parent. Definitely not someone that wants kids, but kids can be adorable. Kids can also be horrible, like me when I was younger. I'm basically the reason I don't want kids. Pass the time like this, sitting side by side on the floor of the walkway as others pass by. Sometimes talking, sometimes drawing on the slate, sometimes playing with Bun Bun the rabbit. And this is how Lim finds you, just as both of you are starting to yawn. He's dirty, tired, but Mina leaps up his legs and into his arms as he stumbles backwards. You two get on okay? He asks, trying to keep Mina from climbing onto his shoulders. More than okay. Mina shoots you a smile from Lim's arms, her suspicion gone. Well, well, well! Looks like Meanie can be nice. Pokes her in the ribs and she squeals in delight. Thank you, friend. I mean it. Gives you a warm, wide smile. There are you. God, this might be... the most wholesome interaction we've had in the game so far. I don't know, it's just super sweet, and I'm happy I was able to help you out. Look. Glances round. It seems like Esther, the lady who usually watches her, is going to be out for a spell. If you ever have some time, I'd really appreciate you coming down to our place in the low end, he grins sheepishly. If you have time. But now I have to take this one day. Eat! He plays at biting Mina, and she giggles in response. 
See you, sleeper. He waves and they stumble off down the corridor, drawing gazes from passing spacers. <clears throat> As Mino's laughter echoes down the corridor in bright squeals. No! New drive discovered. Be a babysitter. Um, help Lim work. Yeah, I mean, I could do that, I think. Um, we don't have a lot of time left, but, uh, I would like to help you out if possible. So, let's go back here. Don't remember if I fed the stray again. We're gonna feed the stray. Alright, and we're good on condition. I'm good on energy, so cool. I think we'll go ahead and end the cycle. And then next time we'll try to finish up things stuff and do some babysitting on the side, I guess. So, I, I wonder what stat the babysitting is going to require. If I had to guess, endure or intuit. <laughs> One of the, probably endure, which is good because I have plus one to endure, so. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Citizen Sleeper and I will see you next time for some more.